Welcome back to Spray River Homestead. Here we are already in 2020. We thought we'd take just a moment to outline all the failures we had in 2019. If you remember back to our 2019 goal video, we even mentioned we'd probably fail. Well, unfortunately, we actually did fail on most of it. So we're going to go through our 2019, show you little clips of what the goal was, and then we're going to show you today, a year later, where we stand against that goal. So the first one was to finish the barns. We made progress. I, I pretty much everything on the list we made progress on, but we didn't get anything completely finished. So you can kind of see on the barn behind us, we did get the plastic along the front. We got the plastic along the front of the other one. So both ends are pretty much done. Um, in the buck barn, we're mostly done. Uh, there's a short panel on the front of each of these barns that's actually supposed to come out. There's supposed to be a post and an actual physical man door um, that still needs to go in. So that's pretty much all the buck barn needs um, in the, and some exterior doors. In the doe barn, um, I've got what, two exterior doors to build. I still need to build the goat stanchion because I didn't do that. We didn't breed uh, for any 2019 babies. So I wasn't gonna milk, so there was really no point. So we've this year we've got to get that stanchion done. So we didn't get that done. We didn't get the birthing pins done because again we didn't need them. And we didn't do electrical. We and, have, we have yeah. no lights in there at this point other than daylight coming through the plastic. And there again, that's another thing that because we didn't milk, we didn't really need them because we tend to do chores right before dark because we lock everybody up anyway. Yeah. So we didn't get to it. We did, however managed to get pins coming off of every single one of the stalls, which was one of our goals is to get some kind of fencing up to the barn. Um, so every single stall does have some kind of paddock run out. Some of them are really small and gonna be extended out this year, but we did actually get them all done. So next goal was? And fencing is probably the number one goal of 2019. Fencing, fencing, and more fencing. So concerning fencing, did we make it? <laughs> not really we didn't really get any major fencing stuff accomplished i think we got it started as you can see from the barn all the way out to the property line we did show that previously we got it started but we didn't get the fencing actually put up to the posts so we got uh two or three fence lines the posts in uh we had a really wet spring which we'll talk about in a minute um so it was never dry enough to really do anything and then it got it went from like workable to concrete in a very short amount of time which the ground does here so we didn't get it uh we did get the upper fence line on the back 40 actually cleaned so we can put a fence in there this year but we didn't actually get anywhere uh we did make some as i mentioned coming off the barn we did make some pins uh we extended some pins we extended some pins over here so yeah, this one, we didn't really make what we were shooting for, but we did make progress, <laughs> progress. All right, so the next goal was? We're gonna be doing some uh, land clearing with the goats and some mobile pin type stuff with our goats, which. So obviously we kind of missed our goal of clearing our land with our goats, but uh, well, we didn't even really get that far. So the plan was to uh, move our trailer around since we're not really using the stock trailer with some mobile pins and kind of do a modified mob stocking type deal with the goats. Yeah, we didn't make it. I, I, I don't know that there's anything else to really say there. We just flat didn't make it. <laughs> hey, so the next one we tried for in 2019 was? Hopefully the birdhouse is finished this year. So the next goal we had for 2019 was to get all of our bird houses completely done and birds moved in. Yeah, no, we didn't do that either. <laughs> but they're not done. But if you remember back, we had said that something got a couple of our ducks. So at that point, we went into scramble mode and got all of our birds, at least out of those pens that they were in. They have been in all winter. We've had no issues i guess after that we i'm sure we've had predators out there and that but oh yeah we haven't lost anything else to any predators so i don't know what it was but whatever it was has been stalled and stifled it hasn't got anything else so we did actually get 
on the waterfowl house, which was the second building, we did get it fully enclosed. I did get the actual doors on both buildings, so the correct doors are on it. Um, there's one big pin in the waterfowl building that was for the geese. It is done. We actually used it for our meat chickens this year, mm -hmm. which we'll talk about in another video. Uh, and since those all went freezer camp, the geese are actually in there. So the geese are where they're supposed to be, which made a spot in the turkey house. So the chocolate turkeys are now in the turkey building. So again, didn't get all of it done, but we did make some progress. So the next goal on our list was... And for everybody who has taken the time to point out what failures we are for not getting our greenhouses finished, we will be finishing the greenhouses this spring as well and getting the covers on. So concerning the greenhouses, we actually made the goal and we've been using these suckers to grow some awesome vegetables and some other stuff this year. Yeah, so the goal was to get them finished. Of course, the domes got finished pretty early on. We grew in them all year. The hoop greenhouse, uh, the cattle panel greenhouse, we grew in it all year. Uh, we didn't get the cover on until, shoot, September, October? Yeah, it was, it was late fall at best. It was really late, um, but it is done. Doors on it, uh, we grew in the beds all year, so everything except the cover and the door were already finished, but we did finally get those done. So uh, for those of you that were calling us a failure for being so slow and putting out part two about covering it, you can go out there and look. There is actually a part two on how to cover that that cattle panel greenhouse. So finally, yay, we made a goal. <laughs> so the next goal on the list from 2019 was. Beyond that, on the rabbit front, we have a pretty ambitious show scheduled this spring. Uh, not a lot of shows, but a lot of shows that are going to be pretty far away. Uh, this is going to be the first year that I'm seriously looking at going to Harlequin Nationals, and it is in Indiana. I plotted it out at what, 33 hours each direction, so it's kind of a big deal. I feel like I'm, you know, one of the top Harlequin breeders on this side of the country. Maybe that's being arrogant, I don't know. Um, but I'd like to head and uh, do a national and kind of see how everybody else stacks up. I mean, it's, it's always kind of hard to tell how you sit when you show just with the same people all the time. Um, so I, I, I want to do that. And then, of course, this fall, this um, October, the ARBA convention, which moves around every year, is going to be in Reno, Nevada this year. So that is only like five and a half hours from us. I've already got a house rented. And uh, me and a bunch of my good buddies are going to go out and hopefully bring the title for best of breed Harlequin back to the West Coast again this year. At least that's the goal. So, so the question is really, did we get all the traveling done? And really, did Nikki get all of her traveling done in 2019? Yeah, so on the rabbit show front, we did. Actually, a girlfriend of mine here in town in Class Falls went with me. And we went all the way to Indiana for Harlequin Nationals. And uh, if you remember, I was kind of saying here that I kind of was waiting to see how it turned out. That I tend to, to place pretty high on the West Coast. So I was trying to see against some of the top breeders in the country how I was going to do. And uh, yeah, I took like, well, I took best opposite of Magpie Group with one of my bucks out of 28 senior bucks. Um, basically how that worked out is it was basically like, uh, fourth place out of 182, 186, I don't remember now. Um, so really well. And a lot of the other ones that I took, I didn't take a huge group. You know, you have to kind of save space when you're on a trip that long to make sure you've got room for all the critter stuff. But, um, we took like top three in almost every other class we were in. So we did pretty well overall. Now convention... It's a whole nother story. I kind of knew going in that the judge that we had, um, in my opinion, is a, is a touch inconsistent with what actually our breed standard says. So my youth breeders in the Pacific Northwest did awesome. I'm very proud of them. Uh, Annika Rowland, Cheyenne Kelly, and Emma Ward did fantastic. Really proud of my girls. Me, meh, we were about mid-pack in every single class, but we did end up with the best opposite of group magpie doe coming home with us. Uh, she was, uh, I traded a buck for like the, the day before the show 
and uh, the breeders at Bretter were great guys. They're out of North Carolina, and they said, hey, we're going to honor that trade. Now, that's great that she won. Hope she does great things for you. So, uh, she came home with me, and uh, other than that, we did all of our other traveling except for, what show did I miss? I missed the Astoria show in February last year to uh, an epic melt and flooding in all the barns and over at my folks place so I did end up missing one show that I had planned on uh, for 2019 so overall not bad we did okay we did good and we actually snuck in a three-day was it three day yeah three-day vacation to the Oregon coast for the first time in three years we <laughs> actually forced ourselves to take a vacation and take a little bit of a break yeah uh, Oregon coast in November, early November, maybe not the best time to do it. We had originally talked about going to Disneyland and naturally, um, if you paid attention to what LA was going on, on fire. <laughs> yeah, LA area was not only on fire, but the smoke in through there, they were saying was so bad that they were advising people with allergies and asthma to stay indoors. So being that I'm, uh, for sure allergies and borderline mm -hmm. asthma we decided that was really not not the you know excitement we were hoping for so we ended up going to the Oregon coast and said had a great time it did rain like one day most of the day socked in with fog but yeah it was a good time we have one more to go yeah and the last goal of 2019 was kind of laid it out to Nikki that I want doubles of everything so we're sitting on the cusp of almost 2,000 subscribers. By the end of 2019, I want to be at four plus. We're just over, what, 240 on views? Yeah, 240,000 so views. So 240,000. I want to be almost at 500,000 views by the end of this year. I know, it sounds like a lot. Uh, we are going to try and do at least one to two videos every week, even if it's just an update so we can keep you guys more in. And this year... Uh, two other things. I want to do more collaborations. So if you're watching at home and you have a channel or anything else, or even if you want a farm tour, something like that, we're going to do it this year. I want this year to be really about collaborations and the viewers at home. So this last one, we're just going to generalize. It's kind of two things, but we're going to put it into one and we're just going to call it media. <laughs> so we originally had planned a farm tour in June. We had some rabbit classes that Nikki wanted to teach that we were thinking of doing kind of like how to care for them, maybe all the way through from birth to freezer camp. Freezer camp. <laughs> we'll just call it that. And then we had some YouTube goals for the channel itself. And we had a rabbit scholarship thing. I was and a rabbit on. scholarship. So rabbits? Uh, well, we had some breeding difficulties with a couple of the breeds that I was going to try to get off to youth breeders. Luckily, I figured that out that I was having some issues before I opened the contest up and then uh, by the time I was ready to do it, um, I had some other stuff going on, which we'll talk about in a minute. So the scholarship thing didn't happen. The rabbit classes uh, we were going to do in the spring, couldn't do it in the spring because as I mentioned, it was we had snow like all the way till Memorial Weekend for the most part, and then got some more in June. And so when it wasn't snowing, it was melting here, and it was so unpredictable and so freaking wet that we just gave up and abandoned the idea entirely. And then by the fall, um, I really wasn't feeling good enough until October-ish, and then by then it was just kind of a snowball thing. Yeah. So that's what happened on the rabbit tours and or the rabbit classes and scholarship. Now the farm tour was an entirely different thing. Oops, sorry. Um, we did have a plan for a weekend in June. I don't remember which weekend and had to cancel it because uh, we were living next to some really volatile people. Uh, we had a bit of an incident on Father's Day weekend where basically he tried to run us off the road anyway the county sheriff got called they did nothing <laughs> basically if you live in Sprague River get used to the fact that the law doesn't care <laughs> about you unless you've been actually physically shot being threatened they don't care uh, I actually had them tell me that when they actually harm you will come out maybe so that didn't happen 
Now, the good news in all this is he is now gone, and his farmer wife has sold the property recently, like right after Thanksgiving, so we have no idea who's coming. Um, that'll probably be a big thing this year, I guess. Yeah. As we figure out, are we going to have the same problem with the with the new neighbors? We, we hope not. Say a little prayer for us. We hope not to have the same problem. So that all got canceled. So that was a big fail. But where was our success? So I'm going to say the biggest success of this whole video, other than we got our greenhouses done, was the YouTube channel. Now, when we set out at the beginning of the year, I, I felt pretty pretty darn bold and brazen to say <laughs> that I wanted to double our subscription or our subscriber numbers from 2,000 to 4,000. I think right now we're sitting around 5,350. So we took that and we just went poof. <laughs> Out of the park. It's gone. Now, wait, now, now, I wouldn't say we did it. What? Because, look, we don't really advertise our channel, right? We're, yeah, not, that's we're true. not the bigger channels. We don't bother with a lot of it. So, we didn't do anything. But I'll tell you what did the shares. So, you guys did the, the channel growth. So, it's really not, it was our goal, but you guys made it happen because. That's what this whole channel was about. It's helping the, the people who watch, right? right? So, one, you guys are obviously getting something out of it, which is, hey, that's awesome. That's we get a lot of intent. great messages from you guys, and you're sharing our content. We really appreciate that. Now, this channel, we're never going to be big. We're not really trying to be big. Um, the fact that we've hit over 5,000 is, like, pretty epic for us. Yeah, and the views. So, we're at 240 at the beginning of the year. I wanted to double that to 480, and I even said, you know what, I really want 500. Well, we're sitting at like 5... Almost 550. Almost 550 this morning, so, wow. Yeah. Hello. Again, wow. thank you so much for sharing our video. Out. We work really hard, especially on some of the... You know, we do some of these update videos and things that, yeah, they're, they're kind of fun, and they're to kind of keep you guys along on the journey, but, you know, our, our strong point, I think, is a lot of our education videos and our kind of review videos and stuff. And uh, I, I'm blown away that some of these rabbit videos have 30 and 40,000 views on them. And I know in the whole scheme of YouTube, that's like nothing. But that's so big for me that I'm helping y'all get going on your rabbits and keeping you going on your rabbits. And there is more of that coming in this, this year. So be ready for that. More rabbit videos coming because I'm getting some great questions from everybody. And I'm starting to see a pattern to some of the questions, so it's time to make some videos on some of those. So with that, guys, we're going to let you go. But I want to say thank you to every single one of you that has joined us this year. Whether you just watched one video, you subscribed, you've watched everything. You know, we, we don't plan on being this big, massive channel and touring the country and doing all these <laughs> shows and all that stuff. We just want to kind of document how we live and really try to get you guys going on the right path for what you're trying to do with your homestead, whether that's a quarter acre or a hundred acres. We want to get you guys going on that path. And I do want to kind of say a little something about, you know, when we talk about our 2019 goals and you, you hear that we didn't make like hardly any of them. Those of you who watched and, and continue to send me messages know that we had a bit of a cancer scare this year uh, in July. I think it was in July after yeah, folks like left. Um, hadn't been feeling real well, went into the doctor and right away they're like, it's cancer. Um, looking back, I should have just been like, say what? Because that was pre-test. Whatever blood tests they did, they were, they were spot on sure that that's what it was. Um, fast forward through the next couple months of me feeling absolutely wretched, we make it all the way through the test and there's no cancer. So, we don't know. We still don't know. That's kind of what held us up for a good portion of the year. Uh, like I said, we got a slow start in the spring because the weather sucked. And then when the weather got good enough to do anything, I was pretty much incapacitated. Um, if I could get a couple hours in a day of work done, I was doing really good. So, um, no cancer for everybody who's watching. No cancer. No idea what my problem actually is. I'm feeling better. I'm back up to about 85% of what I used to be able to do. Um, and I've washed my hands of the medical industry. <laughs> All we managed to get was about, what, five, six thousand dollars worth of bills. And in the end, they just said, well, if it continues, just come back in and we'll, prescri you. Yeah, we'll prescribe something for pain, for pain management. 
well, I, you know, I'm that's not, not us. I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where things are. And then we got to the fall and things started getting better. We had a huge amount of family commitments. <laughs> my, uh, one of my little cousins got married back in the fall, Samantha. And so I had the bachelorette party or bachelor, bridal shower, bridal, bridal shower. shower. I had a bridal shower, I had a wedding. Uh, my uncle passed away from cancer uh, back in September. So early November, we had a funeral. And then, of course, if you watch, you know that my parents snowbirds. So they, they left a little bit late, but they left like the 2nd of December or whatever. So yeah. lots and lots and lots of stuff. Oh, we appreciate everybody hanging in there and at least making our YouTube goal come true. Um, so, hey, there you go. <laughs> That's right. We did okay in this year. So going forth next year, we're going to do another video. Probably the next one out will be what we're planning to do in 2020. So that we can come back in at the end of 2020 and tell you why we didn't make any of the goals. <laughs> Let's hope not. Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's hope Life not. happens. But anyway, thank you guys for everything you've given us so far that you've stopped by. We love the messages you guys give. And, and it's always the message of, I know you're not going to respond or you don't have to respond or just some simple questions. But I think every single message we Either give you a thumbs up that we read it, we give you a heart that we really like it, love it, whatever it's called. And we do try and answer everyone. And we do really try to answer you guys. I, and even if it takes a day or two, a lot of times we're getting swamped in. And you're now looking at the president of the American Harlequin Rabbit Club for two years. So just know I now have to address her as Madam President. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> and I'm now the First Lady. I, I, don't, I don't know what is it the first gentleman i don't know anyway <laughs> thanks for liking subscribing hanging with us setting forth into 2019 into 2020 here we go let's go see you guys next time happy homesteading <laughs>